So as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm heading out on a longer trip this spring on the KTM 1190. The bike has about 10,000 miles on it currently, and it still has the original fuel filter and fuel pump. The filter is probably getting there. The bike's been sitting for quite a while before I purchased it. And the fuel pumps are notorious for failing on these bikes. So since I'm changing the fuel filter, I might as well just go ahead and change the pump as well. I went ahead and ordered myself a quantum fuel pump and filter. It was about 114, 115 bucks. If you sign up for their email list, it's 10% off. If you sign up for their email list and their SMS text messaging deal, it's 15% off. So 114 bucks, that's not terrible. Underneath the bike on the left side, this is the housing for the fuel filter and fuel pump. I unscrewed a few bolts to get some of this stuff on the skid plate out of the way. I'm hoping I'll have to take the whole thing off. First things first, we have to disconnect the fuel lines and drain the fuel. Make sure you close off Petcock's left and right side. So I went ahead and popped the left side back on, closed the right side petcock, pulled the, the connector line from left to right. Out to this side, I'm gonna drain all the fuel on the left side of the bike where the housing is sitting. There it goes. That new quantum fuel pump does have a lifetime warranty as well. Couple plugs here. Here's the electrical plug for the pump and the line leading up into the bike. Now, this one's always fun to get out. I don't know if you guys can see how to do it, but there's a clip here. There's a clip, you just gotta push in. There goes one. And there he goes too. I wish you luck with these. After doing them a few times, you'll get used to how they come apart. They'll, they're a bit of a hassle. Okay, now we can get the housing out. This is a T30. This shouldn't pop out on you. There should be a gasket in between there, and if it's never been off, it's not gonna come out, so I'm just gonna take these all the way out. Most likely, we will need a flathead you separate the housing from the tank. It's kind of loose. And for, you can kind of see how the, the skid plate here is interfering a bit. You should be able to slide it out and off to the side. I'm just gonna stick a flathead in between the, the housing and the, and the fuel tank. Go around with it. I'm not sure what it looks like in there. Just probably gasket around somehow holding it. I don't want to be under here when I get it to pop. There's probably gonna be a little bit of fuel that comes down. Let's go slow with it. Oh, shoot. So caution, a bunch of fuel is gonna spill out. enough clearance didn't have to take the skip play all the way off so here's the kit there's the pump beautiful let's start taking apart the original factory unit here go ahead and grab a flathead screwdriver pop these clips up be gentle with them go ahead and pull apart Ooh, got a little bit of fuel coming out. Go ahead and disconnect the wires. Going to the pump. Unscrew here. Phillips. And that was on there, on there tight. Let's get this screw out. Looks like a little tiny washer in there, so be careful when you separate that. Put that off to the side. And this is exactly why I'm doing it prior to the trip and not on the side of the road. Now you could get the whole housing and everything all together, that's like 350 bucks. So this is definitely a much cheaper way to do it. We have two more Phillips screws off to the left and right. Let's take those out. Man, that is on there. All right. There it goes. So we could take this out. Fuel rail. Okay, these two are the same length. 
these two pieces come out. Let's go ahead and get this plastic housing up and out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of grime in there. I don't know how well you can see it, but something's starting to fall apart. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out before I start putting stuff back together. That looks much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and take apart this top housing. Just two pieces. Push up with your thumb on this piece here and work it out. Slowly going. There we go. Here's the filter. You have a spring up on the bottom here. Here's the new one. Pop that in. Just the old one, put it off to the side. Now that we have a complete S show going on on the workbench, we're ready to put everything back together. We can start with this last piece we took apart. You can see here's the old fuel filter. Gasket, gasket. So the new kit does come with a new gasket for these pieces okay this is uh, uh there's that one and it looks like these two will go on the fuel rail so put those aside they're a little bit of a different size than the one that goes on here I'll go ahead and swap these out smaller side face down okay this piece is done off to the side oh filter this piece is now done off to the side where's the old one not much grime in there not nothing, nothing crazy large in the old filter go ahead and do the gaskets on the fuel rail the side so we have the new spring down the housing here all gaskets replaced on this piece filter and we're gonna put this all back together like so that's ready to go make sure you take this cover off flip it upside down and there's another filter that will be placed on the bottom just a little tab Entryway, entryway. Man, that was a tight fit. But it is on there. Okay, finally, looks like we're all set for reassembly. Make sure you don't forget this new ceiling gasket on the bottom of the housing. There's only one way you can put this back on. You can see this pattern here on the on the rubber piece. And this pattern here. It just goes on like so. Boom. Now go on like so these pieces back in here go ahead and slide in the new open filter time for this cage to go back on small piece goes on first do not forget there is also a new gasket that goes on the top here of the pump these only go in one way see how the holes here where the screws go through match up if I was to put it on backwards they do not match up, so don't worry about throwing this on the wrong way. There's only one way to put this back on. Go ahead and grab your screws. And get those tight. Get this little screw and washer off to the side on the negative wire. The negative just sits closer here, and the positive goes on the outside here. You even have an indication on the new fuel pump itself, negative, positive. So those are on. Well, let's not forget this fuel rail. This should pop in there snug. You have that gasket, did you hear that click? Now we are ready to clip this all back together. Great tip from Two Wheel Rider. 
when he was doing this procedure. These two metal clips, sometimes you may bend these a little bit too far out and they won't be securely clipped back onto the top piece here. So bend them in a little bit if need be. That way you have peace of mind that this piece is on there securely. Ooh, tight fit, tight fit. Fuel rail there, pump in the middle. Looks like we have everything aligned. I just gotta press down. There's one side. There's one click. Got it here too. There's the second click. Boom, baby. New filter, new pump. Is this ready to go back in the bike? I'm gonna get started on that. I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. I'll catch you in the next one.